What you guys got another video here for you on how to create a new user profile and copy all the data from your old user profile to your new one. Now, sometimes we get corrupted user profiles and this is a good way of fixing your system. So we're going to go to settings here. Inside settings, we're going to go to accounts. Now inside accounts, you'll see I've got an account called change me. And uh, this is the account that we're going to change on this system to a new account because it's now corrupted. But I need to create a new user account and also copy all the data over from this account to the new one. So let's go to family and other users and start to create a new user account. So we can do that by add someone else to this PC. Once we click on this, a pop-up box will pop up saying Microsoft account. For an offline account, I'm gonna click, I don't have this person's sign in details. And then from here, you can see it's saying create a new user account. I want to create um, basically an offline account here. So I'm gonna add user without a Microsoft Office account and then put in the new account that we want to create. So I'll call this one, say Brightech, and this is the account that we're gonna have. So this is a new user account and any sort of gremlins that you may be having with your old user account will be gone because you've created a new user account. So let's go ahead and put in our username. You can give it a password if you want. I'm gonna leave this blank and go to next. Now you can see we do have a user account here. Now if you had any old user accounts, you can remove those. And uh, once you've copied all your data across, you can actually uh, remove that user account afterwards. I'll quickly show you how to delete a new user account here that you don't want anymore. You can see here I've got one called It's Me. I'm gonna go on here and then click Remove. And this is how you would remove your old user accounts once you've copied all the data across. So let me just go ahead and click on Delete Account and Data. So remember, don't do this until you've copied all your data across from your old account to your new account. But this is basically how you can uh, remove the accounts after you've uh, finished with them or any old accounts that you want to delete. Okay, so now we've got our new user account, we need to log into this so it will actually build this account. But first, before I do that, I want to change the account type from standard user, which is now by default on Windows 10. And I want to change this to administrator account. Uh, so that's what I want to do here. Because obviously I want to give myself full control. So now I've got administrator rights there. We can now close off uh, this box here and restart into our new user account by going down to the start button. And you should see uh, on the user accounts icon here, you should see now there's an icon for Brightech, which is our new one. So we need to log into this and it will build uh, the user account. Okay, so just click on that and it will then uh, go into that account. So once we've gone down to the login to the account, you should see something like this, which is your login splash screen. Just log into the account that you just created. Mine was Brightex, so I'm gonna log into this. Then the account will have to be created and it will need to build that account for you, which means it will go through some uh, certain features here that you need to let it go through. As you can see, it's getting things ready for you. And because we're building a new account, we will have to answer some of these questions. So I'm gonna go through here. I normally say no to all of this stuff. And then once this is done, it will prepare the uh, user profile for you and you will then be able to log in. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we are into the new user account, which is Brightech. And uh, as you can see there, so brand new account, there's no information on here whatsoever. It doesn't copy across all your data or anything like that. So if you wanna bring that data across, then I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. You don't need any programs for it. All you need to do here is go into the account here, you can see we're logged into Brightech account. This is the old account, change me, which we need to copy the data from. So let's go into this area here, into File Explorer, into this PC, then go into the C drive and go into the users account. And then you should have access to all the user accounts here. There we go. So let's go into the change me account. This was the old account. And from here, what you need to do is copy uh, the files or folders that you want to uh, bring across. So desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos is normally the folders that you keep all your data in. I'm gonna copy these and you can then copy them across to your new account. Just for quickness here, I'll copy the pictures 
over. If you only want to copy one folder over, you can do it. I'll show you how to do it. You can see that's uh, nearly three gigabytes in size. So go back to users, then go to the new account, which is Brightech, or your account that you've just created, and paste that into that folder there. Now you can see there is already folders in there called desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos, but don't worry about that. It will go straight over the top of those. So there we go, that's now copying across just nicely. And again, this would be all of the data that you want to copy from your old account. And now we can close that off. And just let me quickly show you here by going into the pictures directory. And there we go, all the files have been copied across here. Now, of course, you'll have access to all your programs as normal, uh, but basically all your data from the folders will need to be copied over. And that's what we've just done there and it's pretty easy to do. Now, obviously, once you've copied all your data, you can go ahead and remove that old account. This will free up space because obviously you're gonna have duplicate data and you don't want that. So go into the settings pane here, go back into the accounts uh, area here and go back into family and other users. And just like I showed you before here, you can click on the old account here that you want to remove, click on this one and it will give you an icon saying remove and you can remove this from there and it will delete all the data from that account okay and then that's it you should have just your one account which is the one you've just created with all your data copied across i hope this one's been useful to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.